Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I'm just sitting in the car. I'm on my lunch break. And, um, of course, I wanted to come and be messy before I went back inside. Um, <laughs> girl, I saw a clip. <laughs> I saw a clip of Wendy Williams. <laughs> girl. Wendy Williams said, hey, Sharina. <laughs> hey, I think she said, hey, Sharina Hudson. Getting out of my car with my money. Hey, Journey. I think she's three years old. I think she's three now. <laughs> Did she say three? I think she said three years old now. It's been three years. And then she said, hey, Kelvin. I was hollering. I was screaming. Baby, the best part of that whole video was when Suzanne was looking like this. <laughs> Suzanne, <laughs> hold up. Suzanne was looking like this. Like, oh girl, okay, okay, it's about to get real on the Wendy Williams show. Okay, girl, even I'm shocked that you even pulling this stunt. Girl, I live for it. Like, this is a thing, right? Mm -mm. I saw a couple of people online talking about how she should have let the baby out of it. I, I disagree, and I'll tell you why I disagree. People had so much to say when we started to hear, you know, rumbles in the street about what was going on with Wendy and her ex-husband, Kelvin, and this woman whose name was, we thought was Nikki. I guess that's her nickname, but her name is Sharina Hudson. And everybody thought that Wendy, you always, you always out here talking about other people's business. You always out here telling other people's business, but you don't, you don't ever want to tell your own. And the first thing I want, well, one thing I want to say before we, before I go further is I just think that's not realistic. I don't give a damn how much I get on YouTube. I don't care how many comments that you may leave on the shade room or any blog. Ain't nobody going out and just putting their business in the street. Well, no. <laughs> Girl, no. Some of y'all do be volunteering y'all information, volunteering y'all business on Facebook. That's still. But for the most part, y'all get what I'm trying to say. No matter how messy somebody might be, no matter how much, you know, smack we may talk about other people, nobody's just getting on the World Wide Web just telling their business because, oh, I'm talking about somebody else's business. But y'all don't give a damn how much shit I talk on YouTube. If I don't want to tell y'all my business, I'm not going to tell y'all my business. And that's just really just the simplest way to put it. But anyways, so I think that a lot of people, you know, a lot of people were upset at Wendy because they felt as though all she does is talk about other people's business, but she didn't want to address these at the time, you know, we didn't know if there were rumors rumors, or, or if it was the truth. And she didn't want to address this. And now I just feel like now y'all mad because she mentioned the baby while she throwing shade. But the truth of the matter is, even though the baby hasn't done anything to Wendy, that baby plays a big part in Wendy's story. Kevin, Kelvin, whatever his name is, cheated on Wendy throughout her entire throughout their entire marriage. They got a divorce because of that baby. They didn't get a divorce because Kevin was cheating. <laughs> he been cheating. They got a divorce because this time Sharina from what I understand decided to keep this baby. Hello? Catch that. Hello? So, y'all want Wendy to come out and talk about her business and tell her business. And then when she talk about it, it's like, oh, girl, you're doing too much. Because just the other day, y'all ripped her to shreds for not telling her business. Now she's talking about her business. And now she's doing too much. What do y'all want the woman to do? Either y'all want, want her to talk about her business. Either y'all don't want her to talk about her business. And her not talking about, about that baby is just never not going to happen. She's always going to have something to say about Sharina. And she's always going have, to have something to say about that baby. Because unfortunately for the baby, you are the reason why she got a divorce from her husband. Again, the baby ain't did shit to nobody. But Wendy, in my honest opinion, did not get a divorce because Kevin was cheating. From what, Ke from what Wendy said on The View, girl, Kevin cheated, cheated throughout, her entire, throughout their entire marriage. So clearly it wasn't the cheating. It had to be the baby. Like, this is the thing with Sharina. Listen, I'm not trying to 
take any of the blame from Kevin. Because at the end of the day, Kevin was the one who stepped out on his family. Sharina, we wouldn't even know about Sharina if Kevin ass was at home with his wife and with his son, right? So I'm not trying to take any of the responsibility from Kevin and put it on Sharina. However, Sharina, you decided to be a side bitch. Let's just call it for what it is. You decided to be the side bitch of someone whose wife is one of the messiest bitches alive. And not only... Is she one of the messiest bitches alive? She also has a fucking talk show where she could talk about you five days a week for 60 minutes if she wanted to. Bitch, next time, <laughs> next time you, you will fuck with the nigga who, who work at Walmart. I don't know. That's, that's Sharina's fault. Sharina, you getting exactly what your ass asked for. I'm sorry. Next time, y'all, if you're going to be a side bitch, be a side bitch to a nigga who, who wife ain't messy as fuck and got a fucking talk show. Sorry, Sharina. Girl, it's, it's sad that, girl, Wendy going to wear you out and wear that baby out until she don't want to no more. But, girl, this is what you signed up for, unfortunately. Sorry, girl. I don't know what else to say. Like I said, I'm not trying to say that Sharina, you know, this is the thing. At the end of the day, I do believe this a little bit. Like, even though people are married and even though the people in the marriage owe, they owe their loyalty to their, to their partner. I don't owe your partner shit. Hello? I don't owe your partner shit. I don't owe your family shit, girl. That's your partner who owe you who owe all that shit to you. However, it still don't take away from the fact that Serena, you did knowingly fuck with somebody who was married. Like, I mean, we're just gonna go ahead and say it. Now, like I said, I don't want to sound like one of those people who was taking the blame away from Kevin because to me, 99.9% of the blame goes to Kevin. Because again, at the end of the day, if Kevin never would have stepped out, Sharina never could have hopped on a dick and did a full split. And that's just what it is. Sorry, Sharina. So, so, sorry, Shay Shay. Sorry, Journey. Girl, especially until this movie come out. Baby, when they gonna talk about baby? <laughs> you might be all right when this move when this lifetime movie go off. But up until Saturday. Bitch, Wendy probably gonna wear your ass out Thursday <laughs> and Friday. Hello? So, girl, you might as well just get ready. Sometimes y'all got to girl, sometimes, 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 when you become side bitches, you might need to weigh your options, girl. Do I really want to be the side bitch to a to to a nigga who wife is messy as fuck and probably at the time had a and at the time I think Wendy I don't know correct me if I'm wrong at the time Wendy was probably on radio how long I don't know how long Kevin been fucking with Sharina how old is that girl I don't know but Sharina oh well I'm with Wendy. I don't give a damn. Fuck them kids. Fuck, Sh girl, I'm sorry. This ain't even got nothing to do with Sharina or Sharina baby, but bitch, fuck the side, fuck, fuck, girl, fuck them kids and fuck them and fuck the baby mama. I'm sorry. If I was Wendy quiet as it's kept, bitch, I'll wear your ass out until I just don't want to no more. <laughs> I will work Kevin out until I just don't want to no more. I may wake up on Monday morning and want to wear your ass out. Or I may wake, wake up on Monday morning and be like, girl, I'm so tired of talking about that trifling ass bitch. I may wake up, I may let the world know that bitch, the only reason why your ass is in that car is because that nigga who you laying down with took my goddamn money. <laughs> girl, I might work Kevin out and Sharina out and the baby out every fucking day if I want to. If I want to. Or I might be like, girl, I'm going to go ahead and let it go for today. But next month, bitch, I might decide, I might decide, you just better just, it just depends on the day. It depends on how I want to do it. Shout out to Wendy. Shit. Whew. Girl.
<laughs> Girl, why my uh, co-worker last night? Girl, y'all know I went to y'all know I came to work last night with some sandals on and some socks. <laughs> my co-worker said, You so fucking ghetto. <laughs> I said, Girl, what? I said, why? She was like, Did you really come to work with some slides and socks on? <laughs> I said, Girl. It really was an accident, girl. It really was an accident, y'all. Girl, I was rushing out the house, and I did not. I really did not know I had those sandals. I mean, I didn't realize I had those sandals on until I got out the car. I got out the car, I heard a clack, clack, clack. You know how like the big. You know how you know how you know how like when you lazy as hell and you just be dragging your feet across the ground and all. You know that's how I. That's how I knew I had on some sandals. And I said, girl, I looked down. I said, uh, uh-uh. I'm already up here, girl. <sighs> girl, y'all saw what Lun- what Lunell said about um, Dr. Dre. You know what I heard about? You know I what's his name? Vlad. I heard Vlad, and what's the other white man name? Adam Twenty Two. I don't know. I heard they be. I don't know. I I I, I haven't heard great things about them. But it's so weird. To, it's so weird because I hear I've heard people say like bad, Vlad, bad. Vlad is like a culture vulture, <laughs> like you know, like he only used the the you know the black communities. I guess I don't know. But it's so crazy. It's so crazy because as much as I hear people, I've heard people say that like Vlad is like basically. He's a white man, basically. Don't trust the motherfucker. But every time I look up, I see black people, like, on his show. So it's a weird, especially, like, black dudes. So it's so weird how, like, I hear on one hand, like, Vlad is, like, this horrible person. But then on the other hand, all I see is niggas on his show. I don't know. Anyways, Lunell was on his show. And um, she was talking about Dr. Dre. And she was saying how, uh, basically, while it's sad what happened to him, there are a group of people, I guess with his brain aneurysm, there are a group of people out there, there you know, specifically women, who really don't give a damn. And, I mean, and then, you know, it's a lot of people that, who feel like Dr. Dre gets a pass because he's Dr. Dre. Like, this is the thing. Like, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. If Dr. Dre died tomorrow, I wouldn't feel no type of way about it. Like, I'm not over here, you know, I wouldn't be happy because he died, but I wouldn't feel sad because he died. It would just be like, oh, Dr. Dre died. Okay. That's how I would go about it. But I do believe that there are some women out there that if Dr. Dre passed away tomorrow, girl, they'll probably be popping bottles and doing an electric slide. (laughs) Like... And I, and that's what I said, like, when, when that, when, when that shit happened with Dr. Dre, I saw so many people online and I'm like, y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Like all the shit that Dr. Dre has done to people and beat and had bitches in hospitals. And now y'all want to get in a fucking sister circle and pray. Girl, I'll count me out, honey. He ain't never did shit to me. <laughs> never. But bitch, count me out on this one. But I don't. I don't told. I don't told God that I that I'ma leave him alone. <laughs> I'ma leave him alone until I really need him. I done told y'all bitches. I know I got about one or two prayers left. <laughs> Some of y'all hoes got about one. Don't waste your last prayer on Dr. Dre. I'm not wasting mine on Dr. Dre. When I go back, when I go before the Lord, it's gonna be because I really need something. <laughs> and this ain't one of the things that I'm gonna waste my fucking prayer on. I like. You know how you be like, Lord, I promise this is my last time coming to you. So I got about two. Let me stop lying, girl. I don't even pray. <laughs> Shout out to the people who pray. Anyways. What time is it? Hold up. Well, I got a couple more minutes. Whew. Shout out. But yeah. Shout out to Wendy. Baby, Wendy, let me tell you something about Wendy. Wendy gonna promote that motherfucking movie. Wendy gonna make sure we watch that movie. Cause I wouldn't even too much crazy about watching the movie. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm gonna watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna review it, but I'm definitely gonna watch it. Cause I just don't know how I can rem- like I just I don't know. 
I just feel like that would be a lot. I may just mention it in hot topics, you know, certain parts that may stick out. But I don't know if I'm going to review the entire movie. I think I may re review the documentary, though. I feel like I've never reviewed a movie before. I just feel like that would be a lot. And then I'm already long-winded. So I just know that's just something I just feel like... I Bitch, did y'all hear something? Bitch, I know I'm scary white fish. You hear me? Bitch, I swear I heard something. Baby, baby, the girls don't pull it today. <laughs> Do not pull it today, girl. Do not pull it today, girl. Baby, I will crank this motherfucking car up and get. How we gonna? How you gonna? How y'all gonna sit? Girl, cause somebody done got motherfucking hit. Bitch, I'm gonna put this motherfucking car in reverse and fuck somebody up. Bitch, I'm too motherfucking big and talk too much motherfucking shit to be this motherfucking scary. <clears throat> Bitch, I don't forgot what I was talking about. Girl, let me get the fuck up out this car. I done got nervous and shit. Who is that? Y'all see that truck? Girl, why you look like you're pulling up right behind me, though? You see how they're pulling up right behind me? Ain't nowhere to go. Like, girl, you can't park behind. Oh, girl, that's the janitor. That's the janitor. Bitch, I hope, let me, I gotta go, because my nerves is too motherfucking bad. These hoes got me fucked up. That's the janitor. I realize, I, re I recognize his truck. Yeah, that's the Jonathan. Bitch. Bitch. Okay, y'all. Bitch. Girl. Oh, bitch. God, I need to live. I need to live my life right. See? See? This is the type of shit I be talking about. Did, did I just tell y'all I had my two more prayers? I was to see if I, if I would have used my prayer on Dr. Dre right now when I thought I needed it, girl, it would have been gone. Girl, that prayer would have been gone because I fucking wasted it on a fuck nigga. So that's why I'm glad I didn't use it. I'm glad I didn't use my prayer. Okay, girl, the house people, the house. Okay. Okay, girl. That's Miss Maria. Okay, girl. Ooh, baby. Girl, the stock team in the house in the housekeeping starting to come. That's what it is, child. Way, bitch. Let me speak to her. She she find she might not even recognize me. Realize I'm calling. Oh, she ain't even notice me. Anyways, y'all, I'll talk to y'all later. Bitch, I need to get my life together, huh? Oh, scary bitch. <laughs> Girl, bye, y'all.